Happy Friday! Josh here with HMC. Today we're going to talk about the smoke from the wildfires and how it's playing a role on the maturation process, specifically color and uh, bricks development in some of our later season grapes. Vines get their energy through a process called photosynthesis. It occurs in the chloroplast of the leaf and this process takes carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight and converts it into sugar and releases out oxygen. Grape trail system, cultural practices, nutrition, and other management techniques are all designed to optimize the plant's ability to photosynthesize within a day. The goal each day is to maximize photosynthesis. The more photosynthesis that occurs, the more energy the vine has to work with. Right now, the sink of all that energy is the fruit. It's using those sugars that it makes during photosynthesis to help with coloring, turning that green color into red, and also in bricks formation, which is making the sugars and that sweet flavor that you get with an HMC grape. A few times a week, we are walking these fields and making assessments on color. We're also using our refractometer, which is a measurement of bricks. Bricks is the sugar or that sweetness that you get with a grape. What we've been noticing with the Creek Fire is that color and sugar development has been very slow to keep moving this year. Slow color and bricks development is due to the smoke layer that's sitting over the valley floors from these wildfires. The smoke layer lowers solar radiation. Solar radiation is just a measurement of the sun's intensity. With less sunlight hitting these leaves, there's less photosynthesis occurring each day. Here's a look into our Simis weather data out of Parlier. As you can see, for the last seven days, solar radiation has been an average of 356 Langley units. Langley units is just a measurement of solar radiation within a day. Optimal photosynthesis happens between 400 and 700 Langley units. As you can see, some of those poor air quality days with lots of smoke over the valley floor are measured in the 200s. Other days, we're just scratching the surface of optimal photosynthesis. With lack of solar radiation, vine water demand is down quite a bit, and we're adjusting our frequencies and durations to get maximum color and bricks development during this weather pattern. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks again for watching Farm Friday with HMC. We look forward to seeing you next Friday. Goodbye.